In the drawing displayed, there is a requirement to measure a diameter at a specified position from a face. This type of measurement is commonly measured incorrectly by inexperienced users. Normally, they will carry out the following. They will first measure the face as a plane. Then the diameter is a cylinder. Followed by a constructed plane, which is offset to the measured plane. They will then construct a circle where the cylinder and offset plane intersect. This will give a diameter which they need. Although the diameter value will be close to the actual diameter needed, there is no circularity result shown. Therefore, since the circularity can have a significant effect on the diameter size, it is important to know this. CAM2 Measure 10 has an option to measure this type of feature in a more accurate way. First measure the face as a plane, as we have already done. Then from the measurement ribbon, check the Show Feature Properties box. Now select Circle from the measurement ribbon. In the Feature Properties window, from the pull-down select the measured plane. Now check the Enabled Plane Lock Scanning box. And enter the offset value shown on the drawing. In this case, we enter a negative value, since we need to measure below the plane. Checking the Enable Sound will active the Guidance Noise, which will increase in pitch, the closer you are to the offset position. Ensure that Measure on Offset Plane is checked. And then select Create. We can now scan the probe across the surface, by holding the green button. Every time the probe crosses the offset position, a reading will automatically be taken. Continue to scan the surface, ensuring to capture points all around the diameter. Once enough readings have been taken, release the green button, and then compensate in the normal way. If we look at the results, We can now see a slight diameter difference to our constructed result, but now we also have the important circularity result. The plane log scanning method is the most accurate method for measuring this type of feature, and this can be used on all 2D features. That concludes this video, thanks for watching.